Well, tonight, the Alabama state prison system has been rocked. The main building at Holman Prison in Atmore is shutting down, forcing more than 600 prisoners to be moved to other prisons around the state. NBC 15's James Gordon is live tonight in Atmore with what comes next for an already maxed out prison system. James. Well, the state says his hand was forced by the conditions here at Holman Prison, making the overcrowding situation across the state even worse. 422 general population inmates and 195 restrictive housing inmates will have to go to other facilities. Only death row inmates will remain at Holman. We're overcrowded as it is, and in some of these facilities that these inmates are going to be transferred to, we're going to slightly increase that overcrowding. And so we're going to exacerbate potentially problems that are already there. The latest report from the Department of Corrections shows more than 21,000 inmates housed in facilities designed to hold just 12,000. And the capacity is going to drop even more once Holman is decommissioned. We'll find the answer. We'll get to it. Uh, it's not going to be comfortable. And it's not going to be easy. And probably it won't be cheap. But it's something that now we've got to do. And uh, we'll find the path. We'll get it done. Farming inmates out to other states and possibly housing them at county jails could be considered in the short term. That's certainly a, a potential option that's there, but we've got to work that out with the county jails too because we've got to find the ones where there's space and also there's an issue of cost. Mobile Metro Jail is already at capacity. Baldwin County frequently keeps stay inmates, but that's costing local taxpayers. Why that inmates here? We're clothing them. We're feeding them, we're taking care of their medical expenses, and so we actually statewide have seen over a hundred million dollar increase over the past four years to county jails. Well, the good news is that employees here won't be losing their jobs. As a matter of fact, the Department of Corrections is now hiring for a lot of the understaffed prisons throughout the state. Now we're live in Atmore, James Gordon. NBC 15 News. James, thank you. The group Alabamians for Justice has responded to the closure at Holman, condemning the state's handling of the Holman situation. In a letter to the governor, the group says inmates' families and lawyers were not told before the facility was shutting down. Now, the group also condemned the governor's plan to build three new prisons across the state. Governor Ivey visited Holman and Fountain a couple of weeks ago. She and the Department of Corrections plan to break ground this year, a project that could cost about $900 million. That's a price tag bigger than the $800 million the state owed in deferred maintenance to Holman alone. Alabama would be leasing the prisons from private companies. NBC 15 was the first station to let you know when the Department of Corrections announced that partial closure. We will continue to follow the state's plan to reform prisons. For the very latest news, breaking updates, and traffic alerts, be sure to download the free NBC 15 News Weather app.